as you prioritize yourself and as you feel more stable and you don't have the big troughs and valleys and mountains or whatever the saying is and um, as you invest in yourself and you stop rescuing others and you feel more in control of your life what change does that create you feel better i feel better you know i'm showing up for me now you know in spite of all of the noise around me, the people around me that are like, what's wrong with her? (laughs) You know, like I called and I need this. What's wrong with her? You know, she's not. But it's like, no, we have boundaries. And, and, And actually, Mariah, I was thinking about this earlier. Showing up for myself um, has helped me personally, but it's also helped me in my business. So like I said, you know, investing in business coaching and what have you. Okay. That's been great, you know, in most cases. Mm -hmm. However, what was missing, what was missing was me showing up and investing in myself, doing the work for me. Because now not only am I showing up for myself, I'm showing up better as a better CEO for my business as well. Yeah. Right. That is just like so huge. Yeah. I love that you say that because some people are like, well, I can invest in my business coaching because I know that there's a direct ROI. If I build the business, I'm going to make more money and then it can pay for this. And I go, how is it that we don't connect the dots? When you feel better and you have the brain clarity and the energy to make it through the day and you're sleeping better and you're setting priorities and you're feeling good, talk about an ROI and how you build your business, how you interact with your team members and your staff and your clients. And the, and once again, people don't remember what we say, or what we do. They remember how we make them feel. Right. Right. And it sounds like I'm hearing people respond to you like, whoa, look at Wanda, send some, send some boundaries. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. For those of you that don't know, Kathleen is really She's an expert in the world, in the world of manifestation and really changing um, how we see ourselves hmm. um, in order to create the life that we want to create. And you might have your own different words that you would use, but that's how I describe you. Yep. And so for a woman who is hungry to say yes to herself, she feels like this could be a solution for her. And yet there is fear around investing hmm. heavily in herself. How, what do you, how do you make those decisions? Cause I know, I mean, for you, I think it's probably fair to say you've made hundred thousand dollar investments for yourself. Oh, oh, I've, my biggest investment in myself was 330,000. Woo. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so who did you need to be to do that? You know, the biggest thing is when you're investing in yourself for whatever it is, if you're joining a mastermind or a course or a coach or whatever that is, It's always about your sense of worthiness and your sense of faith in you and what you're going to do with it and how you're going to create. So for me, I sign up for things and I invest in me based on how I feel about me. It's not about the mentor or the course or the program because I know that I function, I work, I'm committed, I'm here, I'm going to do the work. And so I, I trust me before anything else. Sometimes I think the fear is, is am I, am I going to invest in this and this, will this work for me? No, no. Will I work for me? That's the biggest thing. And so every time I re- I invest or I reinvest in myself, it's an, another opportunity for me to step into the best of myself, to be the confident version of me, to be the worthy version of me, to be the version of me that says yes to herself and her own growth. Every single time I've invested, I've brought that money back in double, triple, quadruple every single time. And it doesn't have to be an investment into my business, you know, like every investment that I've made up until the investment with you, Mariah, was coaching, was like a course, a a coaching program or something like that. And it was related to my business. So it was like, I'm going to sign up for this coaching and I'm going to invest in this. And so then my business will grow and I'll make more money. So, okay, this, this is reasonable. But then investing with you, it was like, well, this is about my health. This is about longevity. This is about my vessel. This is, this isn't about my business per se. Like I know the connection, but it was finally saying, okay, this is going to be about Kathleen, the woman. And when I signed up for you uh, to work with you, Mariah, it was, it was a moment in time where I said, you know what? 
I am everything. I am my universe. Like everything that is around me and that happens is coming from me. And if I'm not focusing on my health, then I'm not going to be here to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. So it was really a, a prioritization. It was less about investing more money into my business, but investing into my own health. And it's been a completely different perspective because it's not about a rush. It's not about trying to look a certain way. It's not about a wedding I'm trying to go to. It's about how can I learn the skills to take care of this vessel now for the long run mm -hmm. and do big things while I'm here. Mm -hmm. And how do you think that's changed how you show up as a mom, how you show up as a CEO, how you show mm -hmm. up as a, a woman now single, possibly looking for a partner if that is something that you're desiring? How, what changes as you've started to identify with health? Mm -hmm. Oh, everything changes. You know, I would, um, I would say that the biggest thing for me is really stepping into a version of myself that really believes in what I teach. And I teach how to, you know, build a massive business and, a, and an extraordinary life through the ease and flow and through, uh, taking care of who you are, including your, you know, your spirituality, your intellectual mind and your physical body. And so now for me, it's a sense of wholeness. And so that sense of wholeness comes when I'm taking care of all parts of me. And like today, you know, I put a pair of earrings on and some lipstick on because I was coming here, but I was at the spa all day and like, I don't work Fridays. So people will be like, you don't work for, no, I don't really work Tuesdays and I don't really work Fridays. And yeah, I have an eight figure business. And those are decisions that I made to really, really live and practice what I preach. And my team today, we're doing self care, self love Fridays every day. So now every Friday, I want them to go and do something that they love and do something for themselves and take care of themselves. And um, the one thing that I think is so beautiful, I had, a, I had a session with my trainer, who's a really good friend of mine, Eric, uh, yesterday. And I get down there, <laughs> we're ready to go. And then Reagan shows up, which is my eight-year-old daughter. She shows up in her running shoes, her little shorts and her t-shirt, and she's ready to work out with us. And I just thought that that was so beautiful because um, she's starting to mimic more of my positive behaviors instead of some of the ones that weren't necessarily so positive before. Yes. Yeah. Because they do what we do, not what we say. Totally. 